Greetings, my friends, and welcome back to the Home Slice. We have a what was a marathon test today, though I'll try to keep the video short. Magna Cut in a Razor Edge Knives Model Q versus Maximet in a Spyderco Mule. Dual grid edge test on 40 millimeter manila rope. The initial best numbers you can see are just under the 200 mark. That's not amazing if you're like a lowest best as possible sharpener, but it's not bad considering the numbers that a lot of these dual grit edges have taken and the way that they hold aggression. So fairly pleased with that. Rockwell hardness as stated on this razor edge knives fixed blade, the Model Q is supposed to be around 63 Rockwell, the Magna Cut's supposed to be sitting at and the hardness on the Maximet will be very high. I'm not actually sure what Spyderco runs their Maximet at, but it is just full of carbide and craziness. This was a fun test to do in terms of testing good steels and getting good numbers is always fun, but it was a bit of a slog. I think it took about an hour and 20 minutes on the Maximet. I liked the feel that both of the knives had when cutting. I think the Razor Edge Knives Q is a little bit of a thicker profile, of course, than a Spyderco Mule, and so it took a little bit of getting used to. It's a longer blade, and so I've taped it off at my normal around 70 or 80 millimeters of edge so that it didn't have an unfair advantage due to increased edge length over the other blades that I have been testing. The edge that the Magna Cut took was initially keener and it would push cut through the rope fibers a little bit more easily, but Maximet sort of settled out at this really, really aggressive working edge that just lasted and lasted and lasted as it does, as you would expect. So really pleased with the results on both of these steels. I'm gonna have to speed it up crazy fast for <laughs> this test to not be super, super long. Ergonomics on both of these knives were absolutely superb, super easy to cut through the rope with, and I think they'd be, each of them would be great hard users. The upturn on the belly of the Q was a little bit more challenging to sharpen with, and it's a little bit more challenging shape to sort of clip through the rope with. So the utilitarian thin blade shape on a Spyderco mule is obviously, they, they built it for this. They built it to be optimized for steel testing, where the Q is built to be optimized to be a do-everything camp knife, and the ergonomics and the design of it is wonderful for that. I've been noting how Spyderco's and custom knives tend to stand to that 300 grams of best mark a little bit better than production knives and the Q definitely did that rather than falling below the 300 line after cut one or cut two it lasted out till cut four and somewhere between cut four and cut eight I, I tested every four cuts it lost that ability to be under 300 grams best the Maximet broke the <laughs> 300 line at uh, after cut 16. So very, very good initial working edge on the Maximet. Coming to our final results, we got 20 cuts out of the Magna Cut. That's about what I'd expect. It's right up there, the same thing that I got from Vanex. It's a little bit better than what I got from Crewware. It's not quite as good as the numbers that Rex 45 is putting up and it's about half of what the custom 66 and a half Rockwell 10V that I tested did. This tungsten enriched Maximet is a whole different ball game or a whole different beast, you know, pick your metaphor, but this thing cut through a 40 millimeter manila rope 60 times before passing 400 grams on a best machine. It is an absolutely wild dual grit edge. I am astonished that it lasted that long. So that is the best reading that I have had so far by a solid 50%. So um, the previous best reading that I had ever had was uh, Blank Blades, my friend Jason. He um, sent me some 10V and it was 66 and a half Rockwell in a really thin behind the edge kitchen knife. 
and that cut 40 times through this 40 millimeter manila rope, which absolutely boggled my mind. And this Maxima has done um, half of that over again to pull a final number of 60 cuts through this massive rope. Now, keep in mind that when I graph these, I will usually flip the numbers to negative numbers. Obviously, with a best machine, a higher number means more dull. It means that it took more force to press through the rope. For me, it's a little bit more intuitive to envision it upside down, as if you count all the numbers as negatives, then you view a line that is falling as the loss of sharpness. But keeping that in mind, I've simplified the results because I've done like 30 of these tests or like 60 if you include the stone testing that I did on Victorinox knives. So I've cut out a lot of results that didn't feel super relevant to this test and just focused on some meaningful comparisons. I've cut out your <laughs> SE1095 doing just one cut and a bunch of other things. But here you can see in terms of edge loss, that magna cut follows almost the exact same line as CPM 154, but then sort of resurrects itself for an extra seven cuts. Uh, my apologies, CPM 154 cut 13 times, but these crazy edge retaining steels, I'm only testing once every four cuts. So there's a little loss in data resolution, and we're missing that cut number 13 where CPM 154 falls below the line. It's just that if I if I test Maxima every cut, then I would go through 60 best tests in this one and I'll run out of best media and it tends to be kind of difficult to source here in New Zealand. But yeah, Magna Cut sort of acting like a CPM 154 that lasts a lot longer sort of makes sense actually intuitively and with the use that I've done. So that's an interesting test result. You can see that Vanex wobbles around the Magna Cut line. It has some better mid edge retention, but then at the end, Magna Cut kind of shines over it a little bit. The red line there is, of course, the custom 10V that I did that was at nearly 67 Rockwell. And as amazing as those 10V numbers are, for a lot of the life of the edge, the Maximet actually sticks above the keenness level of it. But where the 10V sort of peters out at 40 cuts, that's just where Maximet starts to sweat a little and drops under the 300 gram line. But Maximet sort of stakes its ground in that territory between 300 and 400 grams best and holds it for another 20 cuts in that sort of barely working edge category. But oh my goodness, does it continue to function, that steel? Of course, at 60 cuts, it absolutely plummets off down to 690 grams, which is sort of characteristic of your really, really hard sort of glassy steels. You're gonna get really good front end edge retention. Towards the end, you're gonna fall off a bit of a cliff at times because of microchipping or sudden failures of the fatigued steel. That said, all steels require sharpening until we discover adamantium or vibranium. We're always gonna be headed back to the sharpening stones. And this is phenomenal results from both of these steels. A really admirable performance by MagnaCut. Very impressive. I think MagnaCut takes a really good dual grit edge at around that 63 Rockwell mark and a really, really amazing result from Maxima. What a wonderful technical steal. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you wanna check out another one of my videos, there's a link on screen now. For the rest of you, I'll say peace out from the home slice. I hope you have the best day. Take care.